to my youtube channel my name is remy thanks for tuning in on my channel i discuss on faith lifestyle and development so if you're interested in any of those things please subscribe to my youtube channel so for this video i'm doing a mom tag um and i've never done this before and i think the way it works is there's a question i ask it i answer it and then my mom <laughs> can confirm if it's right or if it's wrong i think that's how it is so anyway we just go along with the flow so my mom is here all the way from the uk so i figured let's do this video <laughs> live together you know okay. so all right drum roll okay one one introduce yourself to the people <laughs> yes my name is shadi kukwala and um i'm an actress I can also claim to be a producer. I have produced a short film. And uh, I am, what else? What else? I no, I wish. Yeah. I think that's it. <laughs> There's not much to me. Um, I'm looking to do more films. And I love to touch on topics that affect women. And yeah, that's it. So we're gonna jump right in and you know just ask a few questions so number one what makes your so i'm asking the I'm, I'm i got the questions online and i haven't you know gone through them yet so i'm just gonna ask it the way it is on oh dear. the thing so what makes your mom happy <laughs> yeah, i can say that uh, what makes my mom happy is um media entertainment stuff <laughs> acting <laughs> So some of the things that she likes to do what makes you happy a lot of what you have said makes me happy banter and um going out really with friends close friends um and helping people i love helping people yes that makes me happy that's number one number two what makes your mom sad hmm. I think what makes her sad is not, you know, being able to do what she wants to do, not being able to do what, you know, she desires to do. I think for the longest time, you know, she wasn't wanting to be in the media, in the entertainment world, um, radio, um, hosting shows, hosting, presenting. And if she's not able to do that, or if she's not allowed to do that, for whatever reason, that can make her sad. That is true. I actually feel confined when I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, and yes, the media, the whole entertainment um, set makes me really happy. Even if I'm not doing anything on set, just the, for the fact that I'm there. I remember when I was young, um, as mom, as you know, mom was a teacher. And in her school, they used to have this drama group. I used to want to be part of it so badly, even though I didn't go to the school, you know, but I never did. So yes, you are right being in that atmosphere and and the atmosphere of actors producers directors and just being in the whole sphere of things really excites me mm -hmm. <laughs> and if i'm not there i am very unhappy um i just feel like i'm wasting away and not doing what i'm called to do i feel i am called to do it and when i'm not doing it when i'm doing other things um i'm it does really it does get to me it really does get to me and it makes me feel worthless really because i'm just wasting away i'm wasting my time i don't like wasting time i don't like wasting my day there has to be something productive that i've done and if i can't do it because i for whatever reason it does really make me unhappy mm -hmm what was your mom like as a child um oh, dear. <laughs> i think my mom was um she was not the conventional like not the typical like you know go to school love your books and all that stuff she was different you know i think she was you know different you know growing up from you know my uncles and aunts my uncle and auntie from from her siblings so she was different you know she was more on the creative side versus you know you know the typical you know go to school and get your education and get your degree type person she was more of a creative and she was more she was different she was different maybe i'll have her describe it you know <laughs> she was different <laughs> this is a setup people it's gonna set me up <laughs> my mom's here and um yeah okay i will answer that question yeah i was different 
um i didn't realize it but i i just kind of knew in a way but you know when you're young you don't really understand these things and i think it if if i can safely say it it drove my my parents are a bit nuts. It drove them crazy. Like, what's wrong with you? You know, um, I didn't like going to school. I wanted to be, I wanted to dive straight into the practicalities of media. And um, I tried to, but for some reason, it just didn't work because I couldn't afford it at the time. I wasn't the one paying my school fees. And every time I was in school, I just, I just knew something was missing. And yeah, so I'm really different in that sense. She is right. And I was, I, I am the only performer in, that I know of in my family. My dad is, was a very funny guy. I got his, I got banter from him. So if anything at all, if, you know, if it's something he would have loved to have done, I think he would have delved into that because he was really good. He was funny my dad was funny and i i believe i'm the only one who has kind of picked up on that mm -hmm. um the next question is how um how old is your mom <laughs> my mom turned 50 in 2013 i believe so i think she's 50 um eight now yes. she's turned 58 in october yeah. october 15 2021 she turned 58 so she looks very good for her age oh. <laughs> Thank you. She looks very good for her age. And <laughs> how tall is your mom? I actually don't know this one. <laughs> um, five three. <laughs> I was thinking five. I'm like, I know. Have I shrunk? I'm five. Um, I'm five three or so. I think on my license it says five four, but I think I was wearing a shoe that day when they took <laughs> my thing. So I think I'm actually really five three. So I think me and my mom were the same height. Your sister, when you can say that I'm five two. I refuse. I'm five three. <laughs> so my mom is five three or five two. I think we got my right. Is that right? I haven't shrunk. <laughs> okay, so my mom is five three. <laughs> what um? Say, if your mom becomes famous, Ooh. what would it be for? I think it would be for something in the media. You know, presenting a show or acting in a movie. I think if she does become famous, that would be. That will be what it's for. It, um, you're right, but it would. I would want it to be more than that. As in, you know, like I said earlier, a lot of my films would focus on women and the abuse. And like the first short film I did was it focused on mental abuse, mainly of women in the church. You know, and um, other ones that I'm going to be doing will be focused on that. So if anything at all. Besides the performing and besides the acting, I would, you know, want to be known for the woman that stood up for women, you know, in mostly in the misconstrued information in the church <laughs> that mm. affected us, affects women till today and is drawing women, you know, women, drawing women away from whatever reason the purpose god has you know made them you know um and it's it's failing i believe society because a woman the power of a woman the power of a woman that understands why she's here why god has brought her here and the 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 different facets of a woman god did not just create us to to create and you know put all the mechanisms in our system you know and cause us to be multitaskers just so we could just sit and be and be you know tossed here and there by a man that doesn't know what he's doing you know we're here for a particular we we are designed the way we're designed to be able to do wonders i mean even if even in the bible I mean, Jesus wasn't messing with the women, you know, he, he stood up for women. He, 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 he rebuked people for women. We, it was the women that even, um, 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 discovered when, you know, you know, um, you know, the grave in that, at the graveside. And, um, I mean, there was even an instance in the Bible where, um, God 
it's it's like God changed his mind when a few women stood up and when they wanted to take their inheritance from them and they were like no is it because we're women that you want to take our inheritance and I believe the story as the story goes it was now taken to Moses I think Moses now took it to God or something like that and at the end of the day God was like they're right you cannot you cannot cheat them just because they're women and they're no men to quote unquote take over the inheritance these women stood up and that to me is missed a lot of that is missed in the church in society in the church and i think it's really important that it needs to be woken up and that's what i want to do i want to focus you know on those kind of stories that would empower a woman and and for her to also know her god you know and you know do the things that the, that god has called them and brought them into you know into the world it's not just about the men it's also a lot of a lot of it is about us and we are powerful more powerful than we are than we have been told mm. yeah absolutely i totally agree which you know goes to a lot of what i say to about um you know women empowerment and you know the importance of women empowerment it's really huge um so the next question is what is your mom's favorite food my mom's favorite <laughs> food is rice rice my mom can eat rice every, every day, day. <laughs> wait i know nigerians i know africans i know chinese people and all that all of us we like rice a lot but my mom loves rice she can eat rice every day i'm not get tired of it there's all kinds of jollof there's fried there's parsley rice yep parsley rice i created that <laughs> my rice put some parsley in it i have rice with everything i can have it with potatoes i can have it with rice i can have it i mean um spaghetti i can have it with bread <laughs> I love rice. <laughs> so my mom's favorite food is definitely rice. Um, next question. What makes your mom proud of you? What makes my mom proud of me? Um, I think, you know, just, you know, the ability to, you know, go for what I want, you know, face my education, face school, you know, do what I need to do and, you know, just be resilient, be persistent, be focused, you know, my ability to be focused and things like that. I think, you know, I can say, you know, you know, that's, you know, that's definitely what makes my mom proud of me. You know, I went to law school, I graduated, passed the bar, you know, all those are great things. So I think that can be, you know, what makes my mom most proud, um, proud of me. Why I'm really, yes, you know, what you have listed is, is definitely true, but really why I'm really, you know, proud of my daughter is because, boy, this girl is much better than me. <laughs> Okay, and it's because I believe um, her genre, um, how she has, you know, the how she has grown up, and you know, millennials these days kind of focus on what they want to do, and and they they have more opportunities, and she she jumped on it and faced it, but it was I believe it was a lot easier for her to do that because it's in her. It's what she loves doing. So in everything, even when it seemed like she was failing, she still rose up and faced it. She wasn't forced. Mm -mm. I'm not one of those mothers that said she had to be a lawyer. Okay. It was just in her. And I'm really proud of the fact that even when she failed the bar, she didn't give up. She didn't throw the towel in. She dusted herself off and rose up again. And nothing was going to stop her. And yeah, and mostly the fact for the fact that she loves God. Mm -hmm. She's not religious. She walks walks with the Lord. Um, she fears and reverences Him. She loves Him. You know, there there are children who who know of the Lord, but they have for some reason you know walked away. Um, they for some reason have fallen. I would say fallen into religion. You know, but with Remy. Um, Remy focuses and speaks and converses and follows the Lord. And that to me, I'm really proud because when I was this girl's age, I didn't even know who God was. Like, God, who? Or what? <laughs> you know, but um, she she's on a different level from when, from when I was her age. So I'm really, really proud of that. Mm. Thank God. Thank God. Um, so the next question says, um, and I think we already kind of talked about this a few
few minutes ago when she says he says how are you and your mom different and yeah. i think i think we already talked about it more me i'm more <laughs> of the you know the creative facts side of me is not the number one i think for me it's the number two but for me the, you know the more i'm more of the fit your books education go to school type person my mom is more of the creative side and you know she likes to you know educate herself in that area versus like what you know the system or like the you know the more defined path if you will yeah. that is not really creative you know so i think that's definitely a difference yeah i'm definitely not as creative right. or not as crazy about creative stuff as she is you know more of just just one thing or whatever i yeah. just focus on certain things that are not necessarily creative and also creativeness is the second piece you know you know with my youtube channel with whatever it is that i like to do taking photos and things like that yeah that's the difference but you know i think we already kind of talked about that a little bit of how you know my mom and i can be a different in that area um even in certain things, you know, even with wigs and with makeup and things like that. I like those <laughs> things, but comfort first, <laughs> comfort about everything. <laughs> you know, my mom is more, you know, you know, she likes makeup, you know, yes. she likes wigs, she likes her hair too, she likes whatever. Like, it's just, for me, it's just, yeah, it's different, you know. So we're different in, in, in that area um, for the most part. But Yeah, we're very different in that area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really just started wearing my hair out. Um, I've always, always, worn always wigs. worn wigs, but mm -hmm. you know, I just thought, you know what, let's change. And the reason I was wearing wigs, if you you won't believe, you won't believe it. The reason why I was not really wearing my hair first, or it wasn't really full like wigs, it was short, and um, was because I had a complex for years. I had a complex, and the wigs gave me the confidence and the complex was i didn't like the fact that i looked young i know a lot of people think i'm nuts because everybody wants to look young but my short hair made me look younger you know but whenever i wore a wig i felt glam you know glam and older and everything and <laughs> that's why i always always just stuck to wigs but as i've grown up now i mean at my age you know i was like mm. I'm going to wear my hair short. It's okay if I look younger, whatever. Mm -hmm. I had grown, I've grown out of that. And that's why you see this now. Confidence. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was the issue. Yeah. 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 I remember for the longest time, people <laughs> thought my mom was my sister. Even till now, when we went for Thanksgiving, you know, I think one of my cousins was like, she looks like your sister. You know, for the longest time growing up, my mom, people always thought we were sisters. And she's always like, no, I'm her mom. <laughs> No, she's my daughter. <laughs> you know, so she's always looked very, very young and you know, fashionable and all that stuff. But she always, people always thought she was my sister. So I, was, I have to remind people that she's my mom. <laughs> she's not my sister. You know, so yeah. So that's definitely, you know, you know, a perk, right? And then it says, "How are you and your mom the same?" I think we have, uh, a, I think we have similar sense of humor and the way we laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I think the way we laugh, we have a similar sense of humor. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, we're, you know, I think sensitive. I think my mom is sensitive. I yeah. am sensitive too. Um, how are, the, are we the same? Yeah, quite sensitive. Yeah. And um, we, we were very, yeah, we're sensitive <clears throat> in the discerning side of things. We discern things mm -hmm. very easily. Mm -hmm. But we might just keep quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, and leave it. Yeah, you know, like, okay, <laughs> but walk away. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I definitely know exactly that. What that you know. You notice we notice things. Mm -hmm. Might not it. It. Yeah, <laughs> and might not see anything. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! So I think so. We have like maybe like two more questions. Let me see. Um. If your mom were a character, who would she be? If you were, if you were a Jennifer. Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer. For those that are not Nigerians, Jennifer's diary is a series, is a Nigerian series, but it's you know led by Funky Akindele, the Nigerian actor. She's really, really good. Um, and you know, so my mom was saying that she would be Jennifer. So Jennifer is the main character in that series. She's so funny. She's nuts. She's <laughs> <Just> nuts. <laughs> 
she's so funny and she's 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 very versatile right you know yeah. her english is somehow but like she's played you know the rich jennifer the poor jennifer you got it so yeah so my mom says she'll be that you know character yeah um and then lastly it says what is something mom always says to you what is something my mom always says to me um i think that um if there's a theme it's just basically just to know god for yourself and not just play religion Mm -hmm. or yeah not just play you know play religion just you know being you know having a relationship with god and not just fall into the trap of mm -hmm. you know church or behavior um, church religiosity mm -hmm. you know you know just not get carried away by, by by that and just always be in tune with the spirit i think um that would be the theme of what you know i think she you know always tries to emphasize and things like that so so I want to, you know, so that's, I think those are the questions that, the mom tag questions. My mom didn't know I was going to do this. It was just a surprise. No, she just sprung it on me. Like, no, I'm doing mom tag. I'm like, mom tag, what's that? I just thought I just, like, 10 minutes ago that we're doing a mom tag. So, yeah, so, you know, it was great having my mom. My grandma is here. Grandma, come and show your face. <laughs> come and show your face, grandma. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so my grandma is here. My you know, here. You look at. <laughs> so my grandma is here. So that's generation one. Yes. Generation two. two. Generation and three. three. Um, so on. say hi to the YouTube. hi everybody YouTube. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I'm really, really too happy to be here. But Nemesis has taken place today. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, you know, that's my grandma. She's here. We're about to go out, actually. So I figured, you know, let's just, you know, appear in the video, do a video. You know, my grandma was talking about Nemesis because yeah. <laughs> I surprised my mom. And my mom had surprised grandma because grandma didn't know that my mom was coming for Thanksgiving. Um, and my mom appeared on Monday and it was a huge surprise. You guys just see the vlog, you see the video, you know, so that's why my grandma was saying never because now I surprised my mom. <laughs> so that's it guys. You've seen my grandma, you've seen my mom. We did the mom tag. I hope you liked this video. Um, if you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yes. Um, watch um, my film. And watch my mom's film. It's called Empty the Seat. Empty the Seat. I'll put a, I'll put the title and things like that. So you can guys can go see it. Um, and um, yeah, so subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not subscribed. And I will see you in my next video. Uh -uh. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> 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 All right, let's quickly. That has been great. <laughs>